We have a monk from Bhutan, the tiny small call country in Himalaya. And he's also a director of the National Museum of Bhutan. Mr. Kenpo Punsok Tashi. And he represents the culture of Bhutan. And with the culture is, I think it's good now. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing because in Bhutan, they measure their wealth and happiness. Every year, they measure their gross national happiness. Like we are measuring how much we produce with our gross national product. They measure happiness. And a big part of happiness is humor in Bhutan. They are giggling all day. And we wonder why. Let's give a very big hand to Kenpo. Can you hear me? Yes. Are you happy? Yes. Why are you happy? Because you are laughing. <laughs> so I think Bhutan also not only the land of happiness, Bhutan is also is known as land of laughing or sense of humor, a lot of, but different cultures and different, you know, you don't understand when I make a joke. But first I can tell you that happiness and joke or sense of humor has no border. It can cross anywhere. Even animal can really laugh and smile. So why do you think that Bhutan is one of the happiest country in the world, even though Bhutan is very poor materially? Can you tell me, anyone, why Bhutan do you think? You think that Bhutan, because now I have been here for over I think almost 10 days, going to be two weeks almost. So I knew that why Danish people are so happy because they are eating a lot of potatoes and the pigs. <laughs> so why do you think the Bhutanese people are so happy? Anyone can tell me? Yes? Peaceful country. You don't think that, that uh, Danish also peaceful country? Yes. Yes, so? <coughs> So I think happiness in Bhutan, we, uh, we always think that happiness doesn't come from the uh, material uh, accumulations. Happiness comes from making joke, <laughs> cultivation of positive mental attitude. These two things we remember in Bhutan. One is the cultivation of positive mental attitudes. Then you make happy and you feel happy. One thing is, if a gathering togetherness, when you bring together and laugh, smile, also brings from the making a job. So that's why in local, we say that Bhutanese young children are when they say that, oh, you are growing very fast. Uh, you are growing very fast and very smart. So do you really eat chili every day? And she or she said, yes, I'm taking very much chili. So chili is really, you know, making uh, in Bhutan, everybody is, you know, uh, chili is uh, like a vegetable. People are eating chilies like a, a vegetables. So if you want to re be happy like Bhutanese, you have to eat chilies. <laughs> Do you grow chilies in Bhutan? What, in, in Denmark? Do you grow chilies? Oh, I thought uh, you, you don't grow chili much here. So that's why why Bhutanese people are always, you know, laughing and they enjoy happiness? There are so many reasons, so many key factors. But now I can talk about gross national happiness. When you talk about happiness, how you measure? There are 72 indicators to measure gross national happiness. And there are nine domains, nine key factors or components to achieve gross national happiness. 
So one of the nine domains, you can imagine the psychological well-being. So we don't have psychiatrists. We don't have much, but we have a spiritual master who can heal your uh, stress, disease, depressions. And also there are a lot of people who make a joke in front of the patient. They can make really be happy and comfortable. Said so they forget their sickness and ailment and suffering while they're listening to that joke. In Bhutan, there's a two ex-monks. Usually monks are very good in making joke, but, I, I, but I'm not at the, like uh, these people. So these two are very famous and you can find there are some movies and uh, CDs and uh, made by these two ex-monks uh, and people don't dare to watch sometimes. You, know, you can't really uh, you know, sit still, always are laughing. So that's why there is a lot of uh, sense of uh, you know, there's, uh, uh, humor in Bhutan. In the National Museum, when people come to Bhutan, or the National Museum, and there's also there's a special, uh, we have a, a assistant, curator assistant, who really tell the stories to the children that how we can be a good uh, human being in making a joke and making happy for others. So that's why happiness is always, I told other days also, Bhutanese people believe that happiness comes from wishing for others' happiness. Happiness doesn't come from occurring so many material things. Happiness comes from wishing for others' happiness. So that wishing comes from the uh, making a joke. So that's why so very important to really uh, have a joke and everywhere in every country has a joke. So there's a nine domains, as I told you, that uh, for the gross national happiness, you must be wondering what kind of gross national happiness, how they measure. Number one is a psychological well-being, number one. Number two is ecological diversity and resilience. Number three, education, health, culture, good governance, economic prosperity, time use, local community, the, uh, the community vitalities. So these nine domains are having, each domain has uh, six indicators, nine indicators, 11 indicators to achieve gross national happiness. So that's why Bhutan is the only country we try to uh, measure the happiness and try to check how people are happy. If they are not happy, then other days somebody asked me, why, if their people are not happy, what uh, you know, people can really help to make them happy? So maybe making a joke, uh, growing a more, or more the crops and chilies in there, uh, because Bhutan is a farming country in Bhutan. So that's why people, if they grow more chilies and they have more rice growing, and they are happy, you see? If there's no chili, for, for example, my mother, so she doesn't take meals if there's no chili in the kitchen. So she can sell to have a meal today. So that's kind of things you see. Some you know, people make them happy what they really want very much, what to have. So that's why in the West, maybe you are so happy that you want to have more material uh, things in, in your house instead of having you know, mental peace and uh, uh, you know, uh, tranquilities. Some people say that Meditation is what they are doing. It's really boring to do meditations because very silent and they are really closing their eyes and sitting in, the one, in one place, very still. It's very boring. So one of my friends told me in Denmark, it's very boring to sit and really meditate. It's not really uh, enjoyable. And I said, that boring also meditation, you see? That is boarding types also meditation. So when you really feel bored. So, but we have also walking meditations. If you really get bored, that's why we have a walking meditation, a sleeping meditations. So that's why in Bhutan, uh, we try in many different ways uh, to make our people happy through a sense of humor, through you know, having mind of contentment, and all this kind of, so we are trying, and it works in Bhutan very well. But I don't know in the West whether these nine domains and 72, caters, uh, 72 indicators can work in, in, uh, in the West. But in Bhutan case, it works very well. So if you want to really uh, want to laugh and smile and have a, 
a wonderful time. You have to learn Bhutanese language, so then I can speak, I can tell in Bhutanese uh, language in all this uh, joke. And uh, yesterday, I think yesterday, all book, when I was telling um, joke, uh, nobody laughs, so I was so disappointed. <laughs> I'm joking. So anyhow, so thank you very much. If you want to really laugh, if you want to, you know, if you want to really make a, a lot of smile, you have to cultivate positive mental attitude in you, or you have to learn how to eat chilies. <laughs> That's, thank you very much. Kenpo, interesting, we learned about Chile. What we didn't learn, I learned yesterday, in Bhutan, everybody has a nickname. A nice nickname. Do you know his nickname? Chili powder. <laughs> Let's give chili powder a big hand again. <laughs>